A mirage is a naturally occurring optical phenomenon. The main effect at work in the formation of a mirage is the bending of light, refraction, in layers of air at different temperatures. To understand how mirages occur, we need to be aware of some basic principles of optics. Refractive index is a measure of how fast light travels through different materials. For example, at 20 degrees Celsius, the refractive index of water is about 1.33. This means that light travels 1.33 times more slowly in water than it does in a vacuum. The refractive index also determines how much the path of a ray of light is bent or refracted when entering a different environment. If light passes from air into water, its path is bent away from its angle of incidence. By about 22 degrees. Refractive index depends on temperature, so if air heats up or cools down, its refractive index changes. If light travels from a medium of greater refractive index to one of lesser refractive index at more than the critical angle, then the light is reflected back from the surface. This is called total internal reflection. For example, if light travels from water to air at an angle greater than the critical angle for water to air, which is 46.8 degrees, it'll be reflected back into the water. Now we have all the information we need to understand how a mirage forms. In summer, the hottest layer of air is the one closest to the ground. As the hot air rises, it cools, with the result that there are layers of air at different temperatures with different refractive indices. Light coming from an object starts to be refracted between the air layers. But if the light's angle is bigger than the critical angle between two layers, then total internal reflection occurs. When this happens, even though there's no actual object in our field of vision, we can still see the object. Mirages commonly occur on roads in hot weather. We see vehicle reflections on the road, as well as a reflection of the sky making it seem as if there's water on the road. The kind of mirage that appears below a real object is known as an inferior mirage. Superior mirages, on the other hand, appear above the real object. These occur when the air below the line of sight is colder than the air above it. Superior mirages are quite common in polar regions. A so-called Fata Morgana is a kind of superior mirage. Although generally seen in polar regions, it may be observed almost anywhere. The name comes from La Fata Morgana, which in Italian means the Fairy Morgana. She's also known as Morgan Le Fay, a powerful sorceress in Arthurian legend. Flying ships, non-existent mountains, distorted shapes in the sky, all are examples of Fata Morgana. Not surprisingly, the effect has been the source of many legends and myths.